I'm not kidding. You see that? Like the hairs on my arm are, are, are like standing up. Like that. He was just showing me his freckles. <laughs> we don't love freckles. You know what I'm saying? You want to hear something weird? Shut up. Okay. <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> um, I, by the way, I saw Jared do this in the last thing. Yeah, it's like, really stupid. It, no, it, it embarrasses me. No, it's great because what it means is people can't stare at your crotch all the time. And you have like liberty to not worry. Oh, no, I enjoy showing my crotch to you. Oh, Like, I don't have to I hide love, it. I love that the house lights come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, house lights, let's see how deep it goes. Um, <laughs> by which he means it's an innie. Um, so, so, my my kids don't know anything of <laughs> No, no, no. No, is that? No, no, come on. I, here's the thing. Okay. Pick a leg. <laughs> right? It's not that difficult. This is making me feel so uncomfortable. I don't think it, I'm not... So I was about to tell a story about my children in their car seats. And... <laughs> So, uh, my, my kids know very little about Supernatural. They, hold on, just, just, just. Um, We have these little figurines. We have big dolls. They call them all mini dads. They're like fan gifts of Castiel. That's, that's mini dad. That's as deep as it goes for them. And, um, Sorry, you have big dolls? <laughs> yeah, I do. Cast has big dolls. But whatever, don't worry about it. Um, For some reason, um, West, my son, loves Carry On My Wayward Son, the song, mm. and it's on his playlist, which he insists we play every time we're in the car, and he is back Does in... he have a playlist? Oh, <laughs> Free yes, guy? and I'm sick of it, but... One of What's on his playlist? Oh, uh, there's, there's stuff on his playlist. Be honest. Don't, don't sugarcoat it. Like, be honest. What's on your son's playlist? Uh, uh, we have got uh, Fireworks. Do you guys know fireworks? Yeah. Uh, we've got... I don't know what that... What, what, what? You, you wouldn't be up on a lot of this. Like, game. I don't know what that is. It's a, I have a four-year-old daughter. Uh, we've got everything. We've got I everything. I dance to firework. From... from the Naked Dutch Painter, um, which uh, goes, the Naked Dutch Painter in the kitchen does not want to fuck you. Uh, we've got Beck, song, Beck songs that also include the... I'm not familiar with them. Is that Katy Perry as well? Uh, um, we've got Beck songs that include the word fuck as well. Okay. Uh, all I don't know. Why, why are we... Why, because is they that insist become, these songs like, go we, on their playlist. Can you watch your language, please? So, Tune in, Howard Stern. <laughs> Long story short, they love uh, Carry On My Wayward Son and sing it at the top of their lungs in their car seats. Both, and they have no idea. Both, yet. West both, both of them will say it, and neither of them have any idea that it's like, for me, it feels like I'm at a convention in my car. So is what you told me earlier public knowledge? Because that's kind of a nice segue. What did I tell him? <laughs> Never mind. I am so glad you just asked that. What a coup. Of course. Jared would have just said it. Yeah, he would. Yeah. I am actually having power like right now. Unfiltered Jared. No. Well, hey, look, this is why I asked. I know. Okay. Moving on. What else?
else is in your son's playlist? No, it's, okay. it's actually weirdly a lot of things. Okay. okay, what's your question? Okay, um, hi there. Hi, hi there. How are you doing? How are you? Oh, yeah. So good to yeah, see you. Right. Yeah, it's been lovely. Yeah. Love your shirt. Why don't you keep a straight face? I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> My question is, are there any superstitions that either of you have and can you share any with us? She's from, she's from Minneapolis. <laughs> uh, Did I? No, I'm just joking. Calm it down. <laughs> and you have a twin, don't lie to me. I don't have a twin. Alright, she's 18 months 15, older. 15. 15 months. Younger. You're basically twins. Um, Hey, twins are cool. Real men have twins. It's just a shirt that somebody sent me. It was pretty cool. I loved it. Anyway, uh, say the question again. What is this? What's the next one? Danielle, I'm not to, not, not to, not to be critical, but the whole apple juice facade sort of goes away when you bring us beverages that are in these glasses. It should be a styrofoam cup, a yeah, bottle. Like a juice cup. Yeah. You'd think yeah. a terrible spy. <laughs> I'm not, I am not a spy, in fact. She said not. Which is exactly what spies say. <laughs> that one got me. I don't know why. Every now and again, he just throws one out there. He just rolls it in. What? What is... What is that? That's adorable. Is that from a... <laughs> Thanks. Um, you, got me, you got me with that one. <laughs> okay, so you had a question, but we couldn't understand because of your accent. I'll speak slower. Seriously? It's a unicorn plushie. <laughs> Name it and say goodbye. Is that too hard? Is that a little rough? That was a little rough. I feel like doing a little rough. Well. Well. <laughs> Fuck you, Stephen. <laughs> With the tongue out over there, it looks, oh, like, it looks like Stephen's <laughs> judging us. Stephen doesn't like anything that's going on right no, now. That's why we don't bring Stephen to be That's started. right. That's why he's not allowed. Hi. Hi. Um, you again, question. for the third time, could you repeat your question? I will say it slower. Thank you. So, um, and say it in an American accent. <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't even do it. No, you can't do it. Come on. It's great. It's easy. <laughs> you just, Australian. You've got this. No, it doesn't. No, no, no. no. Hey, Australians hey, like this. Like, hi, how you doing? Great. Yeah. Blimey. <laughs> Put a little shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> that was awful. That was terrible. That was awful. I apologize. It's, it's, that, was, that was really awful. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Calm. We don't need to, like, say names. Yeah, you know. Come yeah. on. Easy, yes. man. Uh, okay. So do either of you have any superstitions and are you able to share any with us? Yes. And are you able to share any? No. <laughs> Why? So uh, we travel quite often. Um, I don't know why. No, I know why we travel a lot. But I don't know, I don't know why I have this superstition. Uh, I have to step onto the plane with my right foot first. 
That's fucking crazy. What? Yeah. Um, I'm embarrassed to say this, but the only thing that comes to mind is... Like, that immediately came to mind. I was like... And I'm not a superstitious guy, like, but I'm, I'm yeah, all, I, I, always, I always walk up to the jetway and I'm like... Right foot. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I literally don't know why, but I'm just like, it hasn't failed me yet. <laughs> I'm still here. I think it hasn't failed me yet is actually why I have this superstition as well. Um, I always wear something sort of akin to orange underwear. <laughs> and, Wait, seriously? No joke. And for me, it's like, I, for some reason I've decided that it's lucky. And I ask myself, because I open the drawer, and I'm, I've got a, a lot of underwear. <laughs> that are not orange. You that really only need eight pairs of underwear. No, you don't. And so, <laughs> you have a lot of pairs of underwear that are not Do orange. Do your laundry. That are not orange, and I'm like, no, no, because is today really a day when you could afford to not be lucky? I ask myself, and then I always pick. You, know, you want to always have luck on your side, but today is sort of like a marginal day. It's like a, I'm stretching it. Um, uh, no. No. Dude, that's pink. That's pinkish. That's so. pink. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> that's as far as I can stretch it. I wish you could see what's going on here. No. Um, so I was wondering if 
there was anything that doesn't involve your pants. <laughs> that you only do around each other. <laughs> training for the SBN family uh, crisis support hotline, right? And... Are you out there? Yes. Yes. There were two of you. Anyone else? No. Um, and, uh, and Jensen, um, do you mind? Uh, <laughs> Jensen came into lunch late, and he was like, I had to take a, I had to take a minute, because he had a tough time. Uh, finishing autographs after meeting uh, one of these women who um, who was has been working on the crisis support hotline that we we helped set up like the, the I am alive campaign and the you are not alone campaign funded this thing that now there were 11,000 people that signed up to be on uh, crisis support hotline monitors and uh, hundreds of them have finished the training and it's now a fully functioning hotline, and this woman has completed uh, 50 hours. <laughs> and typically behind the scenes in the lunchroom, um, we are all collectively as a group a bunch of assholes. Um, but Jensen came in and his eyes were kind of red, and I gave him a hug, um, and and he said, and I'm quoting here, don't do that. And, uh, <laughs> and it was a moment when we like have we have these these brief interstitials where we are almost I would say 99.99 percent of the time total assholes, but there are these little moments when we we are like deeply touched by you guys and by the fact that we're all affecting one another in a meaningful way and by the fact that maybe something that we helped set up might have saved a, a life or made a day a lot better um, and that was like a, a really lovely moment and we have these little lovely moments from time to time um, that are kind of more powerful um, than than you can put words to. It's just a, it's it feels like ah this this makes this makes being away from our families and and all the time we spend on this well worth it. When <clears throat> this was this was kind of what got me was so I was signing autographs and some of you guys were were probably a part of uh, the situation. I don't know if you remember when Misha walked up with her and said, hey, she's one of the uh, counselors that is part of what we set up. I hadn't, I hadn't actually, uh, that, has, that hadn't been personified for me yet. And so I spoke to you for a brief second and it was something like, was it 50 hours? Right? Could you stand up? Was it? Uh, was it, was it, was it 50 hours? 50 hours you'd spent on the phone. And 
And she walked away, and that hit me. That that was 50 hours hitting me now. Shit. <laughs> uh, that something that was spawned out of this, and out of this, could help people to that degree, to where there was a verified person to counsel somebody or people for that amount of time, and she was one of them, and I know that there's many of them, and it hit me hard. Uh, and I, I get to look at you, I get to see you guys, and I know you all have a story, uh, and I wish I could hear and talk to every one of you at length. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have that opportunity, but knowing that something that I was a part of helped create that um, that betters people and inspires people to be a better person because and Jared shared this with me he's like no one can help you but yourself you are the only person that can help yourself um but if you get inspired by something, if you get, if, if something touches you and inspires you and, and, and makes you believe something that then helps you help yourself, then that's important. And she's doing important things. And the fact that I was a small molecule of a, of a, of a being that helped Many people, I don't know, it, it hit me really, really hard, and I had to take a, I had to take a breather. I had to take a knee. Uh, and so, yeah, so I went upstairs to Daniela's room. She was like, you need to come upstairs. And I'm like, yeah, I think I do. <laughs> and, uh, to her room, I didn't make it. Uh, so I held out for like, maybe like 70 more autographs. I was like, mm, thank you, mm, thank you, mm, thank you. <laughs> he was very flatulent during that time. Yes, that, was, that was just the gas. Uh, then we were walking, and I just, I was like, nope, nope, you're not gonna make the elevator. And I just sat there, and Jared just like, grabbed me and hugged me. And it was like one of those moments where it's like, this, this shouldn't exist. Like, from a from a, a a point of view that is like a television show, actor, uh, fan relationship, like this probably shouldn't exist. It exists, guys. We f we feel you, and you mean. Uh, shit ton to us. You really do. It's right around this point that we uh, tried to take the levity out of it, so uh, hit the music! Uh.